Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today we are taking a look at the Sultan Classic, a sports car added as part of the Diamond Casino Heist DLC. So for your purchase you will acquire a sports car that is extremely reminiscent of the old style Subaru Impreza, which is actually a car that my father once had, until he sold it on to some guy who proceeded to wrap it around a tree. So yeah, for those into the Subaru Impreza like me, this is quite the car to behold. Customization wise, the car has plenty to choose from on all ends of the car. The wings, the body kits, the grills, everything's here. One interesting thing to note is that like some other cars introduced as part of this DLC, when you apply the lower suspension setting, the wheels will camber outside. This will improve the road holding by quite the margin according to Bruffy, although I do find it to be kind of a little off-putting on this street style car. But whatever, I guess it looks pretty cool. Performance? First of all, let's see how well it handles against the mighty Pariah in a drag race. Let's now see how well the car performs on PRG's very own test track designed to test the very limits of cars. The course begins with a very easy left merging into a much tighter left corner, completely turning the car 180 degrees back on itself, heading towards an extremely tight 90 degree goose head, and then onto the first straight allowing the car to stretch its legs on the acceleration and top speed before diving right into a hairpin turn, into a small straight, and then immediately back into another hairpin turn back onto the straight to put down the power and then back into yet another hairpin turn, onto the small straight and then finally one more sharp turn to the final straight to the finish line. That is the gist of Pyron Gaming's test course, so without further ado, let's see how the car performs against some other sports cars, shall we? So there we have it. I think the Sultan Classic is... okay. I think the only reason it's able to perform with the best of them is because of its drivetrain. From a standstill, this is an extremely fast car off the line. It doesn't waste any time, or tyres, by spinning its wheels at the start of a race without a boost start. Its cornering is also much easier than a lot of other sports cars that I've tested out in the class. It doesn't oversteer when you don't want it to. It also doesn't understeer, provided you don't just launch yourself into any corners. And its acceleration more than makes up for any mistakes that a driver might make while racing. Overall, I'd say that the Sultan Classic is a very good beginner-friendly car which also performs quite well competitively. Let me know what you guys think about this car in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around, folks.